In the scorching sands of Libya, where water was scarcer than a camel at a coffee shop, a man with a flair for the extravagant decided to take on nature itself. Muammar Gaddafi, the colorful ruler of Libya during his 42-year reign, embarked on a mission so audacious that it earned the title of the eighth wonder of the world. Libya, one of the driest places on earth, struggled with parched cities and a landscape that had been turned into a sandbox by an unforgiving desert. Less than 5% of the land was fit for farming, thanks to rainfall that was scarcer than honesty from the government. In 1953, while hunting for oil, Libya stumbled upon a jackpot, but not the one they were expecting. Vast underground aquifers, containing ancient water were discovered. Gaddafi's government, after nationalizing oil companies and swimming in oil money, decided to drill bore wells to tap into this underwater treasure. In 1984, with oil money flowing like a chocolate fountain, the Great Man Made River Project was born. A massive underground pipeline network was commissioned to transport water from the Sahara Desert's ancient aquifers to Libya's bustling cities where the majority of the population was located. Around 1,300 wells were dug, extracting water from deep beneath the desert. A colossal 2,800 kilometers network of pipes was laid, and soon enough, 6.5 million Libyans had access to fresh water. This project, still under construction, aims to have 4,000 kilometers of pipes and cultivate 155,000 hectares of land, making it the largest irrigation project on the planet. While Gaddafi hailed it as the eighth wonder, Western media couldn't resist poking fun, dubbing it as Gaddafi's pet project and a vanity project. The Great Man Made River significantly improved the quality of life for Libyans, providing them with water for everyday use. UNESCO even gave it a thumbs up, establishing the Great Man Made River International Water Prize in 1999. But alas, even a water project wasn't safe from politics. In 2011, during Libya's civil war, NATO decided to join the waterworks and bomb the project's water supply pipeline, causing a water crisis for 70% of the population. NATO insisted they were targeting military assets, an obvious lie to distract the world from the true ulterior motives. Now, with ongoing conflicts in Libya, the future of the Great Man Made River project seems bleak. Gaddafi had predicted that the project would rub some folks in Washington the wrong way, and boy was he right. In the end, the Great Man Made River project is a tale of ambition, resourcefulness, and the lengths one leader went to bring water to his people, adding to the fact that the Western world does not want to be overtaken by the United States of Africa. Whether it's an eighth wonder or a pet project, it's a story that will make you rethink the lengths some will go to make sure they can quench their thirst, even in the desert.